So the challenge facing Jacksonville again is how do we raise young boys and girls to become nonviolent young men and women? And folks, a lot of that is the neighborhoods that I talked about when I first started. It's families. Folks, it's building stronger families. Anybody know what the divorce rate is in Duval County? A lot of people don't want to talk about this because 73% of us are divorced. Think about that. Nobody wants to talk about this. Nobody wants to talk about these kids that are being raised in single parent families. Not that it can't be done. It can be done successfully, but that's not the best model. We need to talk about those kind of things. We need to be talking about virtue. We need to be talking about faith with these kids. Because let me tell you, when you sit down across from some of these kids, they have no value for life. T1, we, I was at Bethel Baptist Church, and T1, he's a great kid now. He was a hellion back a few years ago. Great kid now, a, a modern day poet, and I mean, just, he's got an amazing life now. T1 said, when I was back involved in that stuff, I felt like nothing, so I acted like nothing. And let me tell you, that's powerful. Think about a 17, 18 year old kid who has a weapon in his pocket and he feels like nothing and he's gonna act like nothing. If he doesn't value his life, he is certainly not gonna value yours. So if we're gonna raise children to be nonviolent young adults, we've got to get values back into their lives. This is not about, this is not about economics. I hear that all the time. It's not economics, it's values. There are a lot of poor people in this community that would never stick a gun in your face or rob you or anything else. It's not economics, it's values, and that's what we need to get back to. And that's the conversation I'm gonna tell you up front that I think most communities don't wanna have. Because you know what, when you start talking about values and virtue, what do you gotta talk about? You gotta talk about faith. Then you gotta talk about God. And nobody wants to have those conversations. That's the problem. And so I'm, I'm standing up to talk about it. And, uh, and I hope that through our prevention, intervention, and enforcement, we can actually impact these children's lives and save them from themselves. Thank you.